Ako po si Tene Rose Tendante. At ako naman si Michael Davantes. At kayo'y nanonood ang Mabuhay Montreal TV. Kumusta po mga kababayan? Welcome po sa MMTV. At Tenny, bad news sa ating mga kababayan na pumunta rito sa Canada bilang temporary foreign workers in low-skilled jobs dahil noong taong April 1, 2011 ay binigyan sila ng apat na taong lugit ng Citizenship and Immigration Canada kung kaya't ngayong taong ito, ngayong April 1, 2015, ay kailangan nilang umalis. And it's a sad news, Michael, dahil ano, itong mga foreign workers na ito, may mga sinusuportahan back home. Kasi lalong-lalo na yung may mga pinag-aaral, they will really suffer. Yes, nakakalungkot talaga. At maraming mga malulungkot na kwento, in fact, na mga galing sa ating mga kababayan na papalisin dito sa Canada. At uh, syempre, ang ganyan sabi mo, ay apektado ang kanilang pamilya. At uh, syempre, parang masakit sa damdamin nila dahil parang naging disposable sila when they have been valuable dito sa Canada. Oo. Alam mo, Michael, sabi pa nga nila, after nilang paalisin, hindi sila pwedeng bumalik after four years. Yes, after four years pa, they have to stay out of Canada for four years. Ang nagtataka lang ako, Michael, ano, so kung may ipinanganak sila dito ng bata, technically, they're Canadian citizen, mm -hmm. right? So ano mangyayari doon? Well, they can only sponsor them when the, when their children turns 18. Oh, that's gonna yeah. be a long process. Yes, talagang magulo uh, na pati mga anak talaga ay kasama sa gusto. Anyway, Tenny, it's a sad news, kaya we need a jolly news, we right? We need a light up news. <laughs> yes. Okay, so ngayon po, mag, I think uh, magkakaroon tayo ng Jollibee sa Toronto. Yan ang good news ko sa'yo. Yes, good news, pero selos ang ibang mga probinsya dito sa Canada dahil wala silang Jollibee, di ba? Pero, oh. um, yeah, I'm looking forward. Uh, kasi mag-feel at home ka talaga when you see Jollibee. Dahil oh. parang naging iconic na itong building na to sa Pilipinas, di ba? Yeah. So, ano ba ang uh, paborito mo sa Jollibee? Oh, every time I go back to Philippines, unang uh, binibili ko is Jolly Hotdog. Oh, Tsaka yung spaghetti nila. I'm looking forward to visit the chain in Toronto. At magbabalik po ang MMTV. Nagbabalik po ang MMTV. At kasama po natin ngayon ang promoter ng gaganapin na Mocha Girls Concert dito sa Montreal na si Freddy Espinosa at ang kanilang magiging host sa gabing iyon na si Schubert Pierre-Louis. Welcome guys. Hello. 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 Great to be here. Yes. MMTV. <laughs> Welcome po. So, first time niyo po bang uh, mag-promote ang concert dito sa Montreal with artists coming from the Philippines? Yes. Uh, my first time. Uh, Basically, uh, we're helping the, uh, our Toronto uh, promoter, which is uh, mm -hmm. Cyber uh, Pinoy uh, Radio. Uh, they're, they're really the ones bringing the Mocha Girls show into Canada mm -hmm. and, and uh, into Montreal. And uh, we're very glad to be associated. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a Mocha Girls fan. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You have I, to be fan. I, yes. I, I've never seen them, but I mean, you've, you know, if, if you were ever busy on, on Facebook or YouTube or social media, I mean, they're everywhere. I mean, the Mocha Girls page on Facebook has over a million, a million likes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Sa tingin niyo po, bakit importante ang mag-promote ng mga Filipino artists from the Philippines? You know, uh, I'm, I watch a lot of, uh, let's say, GMA, yes. and mm -hmm. I, I, I try to catch TFC when I can, but there's so much happening in the Philippines. I mean, the country itself is blooming, uh, but the entertainment, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's incredible. There, there's young kids that are coming up. And, you know, uh, I, I go you know, from way back uh, in time, but if you see the entertainment industry there that's just growing yes. and, and mushrooming. It is and, huge. And, you know, uh, the, the people, uh, the, they idolize uh, them and they become like role models in, mm -hmm. yeah. in a way. And uh, I think it's good, it's good for the country, it's good for Filipinos everywhere to showcase it, the talent. Exactly. It's, it's good for the talented. community also to, to be in touch with uh, the artists in, in the Philippines. You got it. So 
bilang promoter po, ano po ba ang mga challenges ng pagiging promoter ng concert dito sa Montreal? Ang talagang challenge all mm -hmm. the time uh, mm -hmm. when, you, when you do any concert. And this, uh, I know from, uh, you know from people that I know that, that brought in shows into Montreal, mm -hmm. is obviously dapat you have to sell tickets. Yes. And then you have to promote. Mm -hmm. you know and uh, it's a kind of it's a kind of thing where if, uh, if you obviously if you don't sell tickets uh, somebody is going to lose money <laughs> on, yes, on the project and uh, alam ko it, it's really hard for for Filipinos here in Montreal mm -hmm. who actually try to bring some acts here from from the Philippines to you know to really make good uh, we're not saying that Moku Girls is you know going to be different yes. but as a show itself and their following uh, you know from social media from following from 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 the philippines from manila the mocha girls is really a now show they're and good performers. and they're they perform now now these girls they're they're the hottest they're the busiest act yes. right now in manila sometimes yes, they do it, yeah. three shows per night yes. yes and they're all always packed shows and you know i, I haven't seen them personally but i i've, I've known one some of the top i think for exactly. performers i've like seen some people na, na, naka, and had a chance to watch their show in the, in in manila and man they're, they're coming to the show yeah on april do you 25th. plan on bringing some more uh, pinoy artists again uh, as in my in, in my uh, conversations with cyber pinoy radio i know that they have a lot of uh, other acts na talagang nadali na dito uh, you know, uh, I, I guess a lot of a lot of them are, are in the works. I know they, they did some shows in in Toronto with uh, with with other acts as well. Uh, very successful shows. Toronto, yeah. like Mocha Girls in Toronto, they have three shows going. So wow. Wow. and uh, and I think we're going to be the first the first leg of this Mocha Girls World Tour 2015 that's happening this year. Uh, they went on tour I think two years ago and. Okay. Uh, and they played the sold out, sold out shows. They they went, they came to Canada, never came to Montreal. I don't think they ever came to Toronto either. But this time, they're they're hitting us big and uh, get ready to well, catch the fever. It's on the yes, map now. We can't yes. wait. And I'm actually curious about uh, Schubert. You will be hosting uh, this concert. How did you get involved with the Filipino community? Well, to be completely honest with mm -hmm. you, uh, I got involved through a good friend of mine. Um, Mariam, mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys all know Mariam. Yes, yeah, she's yes, actually of one of our uh, uh, opening yes. performers. Exactly, yes. and uh, we're good friends. Uh, my best friend is Filipino as well, so I've been kind of like I'm, you know, part of the culture as a young kid. So uh, I might just call you Tito. Of you course, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you don't mind. Everybody. And, and or, or, or Kuya or exactly <laughs> Kuya and Ate. We're all relatives. Ate, ate. ate ah. <laughs> and uh, seemingly you are surrounded with uh, Filipino talents. What can you say about the talents of the Filipinos? Well, honestly, you guys are very talented, you know, culture people. And mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just Don Smooth himself, great singer as well. Mysterious is a great song, by the way. And um, also, um, I mean, even Tanag Uptown, I've heard their things. I have to admit, I don't really understand Tagalog. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I can feel the energy. Slowly, slowly. They slowly, slowly. Yeah. slowly. Music you know, like, is universal. You yes. know, like, I got myself a pocket dictionary to translate. Right. It's a bit rough, but I mean, one day eventually. <laughs> and Mario. There'll be an app for that. So. Exactly. You know, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can get some people involved. Maybe they can do an app. And um, Marielle, great singer as well. And I've, she's a close friend of mine yes. for, since a long time. And man, the Mocha Girls. Uh, like you were saying, <laughs> yeah. they're like the third best selling yes, female group great. of all time. Yes. They even won awards for their albums. So, I mean, this is a very high profile group. Never met them personally as well, but I mean, you know, they're big stuff, they're hot stuff as well. So, na mention ni Schubert, si, si Don, at, si, at yung Uptown. Uptown. Ay makasama natin siya maya maya after after a break. So, pwede niyo yeah. po bang imbitahan ole ang ating mga viewers sa uh, darating na concert na ito? Absolutely. Listen, guys. Montreal, it's been a very, very hard, tough winter, okay? It's time for some heat. The Mocha Girls are gonna bring it in. They're the hottest, they're the busiest all-girl band in the Philippines right now, uh, full house all the time. And they're coming in to bring us the fever. It's called Mocha Girls Fever. Oh. Come out and catch it. Uh, the tickets are available okay. around, uh, around the Little Manila area. Uh, they're at the Uptown Tattoos. The tickets are also at Bar Mex and at uh, Papa Restaurant. You can contact uh, myself, Freddy Espinosa, or Uptown Tattoos as well for tickets. 
And at the same time, you know, we have a, a flash social media Facebook posting running. It's not 24-7, but uh, it, it's always there. So it's going to be in your face. Please, don't wait. Get your tickets April 25. It's only a few days away. And w what we're telling people, arrive there at 5 o'clock because the, the show starts at 6 with our opening performers uh, with, uh, with Don Smoove, Tanook Uptown, and Marielle. And the Mocha Girls will be on stage at 7 sharp. Okay. And make sure you get the meet and greet tickets, okay? Because after yeah. the show, you get a chance to actually, we have a nice lounge at Club La Boom, Club La Boom at, on Stanley. Mm -hmm. That's the VIP ticket holders. Exactly. If you get the VIP ticket holders after the show, you get to meet the Moku Girls in person right after the show. So, Ayan. That's please. Right. Uh, Makita-kita po tayo sa April 25 sa Club La Boom. Magbabalik ang MMTV. Nagbabalik po ang MMTV. Yes, Michael. At kasama natin ngayon on Front Act sa darating na concert ng Mocha Girls. Sila ang Tunog Uptown, sila Brian Perona, Glenn at Kelvin, at syempre ang Don Smooth. Kumusta? How are you guys? Good, good. Welcome to MMTV. Thank you. Are you guys excited for the upcoming show? Yeah, fantastic. It's going to be a great time. Looking forward to it. When I was asked to do it, uh, glad to be a part of a Filipino act. Such a huge act coming to Montreal. Should be very fun. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the song that you will be performing during yeah, the concert? Yeah, definitely. It's a song called Mysterious. It's my single. Mm -hmm. It's available on iTunes. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a song. It's a nice upbeat song, a nice party track that everyone can enjoy. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone will like it. So you write your own songs? Definitely, definitely. Uh, what kind of genre is it? Uh, pop R&B, definitely. Pop R&B, yeah. okay. At itong mga nasa likod naman natin, pa paano nabuong inyong grupo? Uh, nabuo po to nung ano, 2011. Kasi po, like, ano po kami, uh, iba't ibang uh, grupo, kumbaga, mm -hmm. nag-unite po kami. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, ang una pong grupo, like, kami po, Kelvin ako, then, meron pong dalawa, pero hindi nakapunta. So, so nag-combine, nag nag-combine yung dalawang grupo, parang ganun? Opo. Or uh, merong ibang... So, ito na talaga yung uh, Tunog Uptown, isa Opo. lang ng name nyo. Okay, so, lagi ba kayong may gig dito sa mga lo local uh, bars natin? Uh, lagi kami may gig pag, ano, kuna, uh, for example, Last Valentine's, meron kaming gig dun sa Barmex. Okay. So yeah, may mga, kasama yung mga local artists, mga local, yeah, mga local artists natin dito sa Montreal. So, kayo rin ang sumusulat ng inyong mga kanta or yeah. mga, mga songs? Oh, all in Tagalog mm -hmm. siya. Um, ano bang klaseng rap ito? Depende, minsan, pag, feel, pag feeling down kami. <laughs> <laughs> mellow. <laughs> mellow. So, I see, I see. Um, depende sa mga, mm -hmm. most, mostly puro kung anong nasa everyday life na nangyayari. I see. So, inspired sa everyday life ninyo. Kasi mukhang masiyahin naman si Kelly. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> ano? sino bang vocalist dito sa grupo ninyo? Vocalist. Si D-Mac po yan. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Siya palagi yung kumakanta ng mga chorus namin. Siya yung gumagawa. Mm. Tapos, no, pinaparinig niya sa amin pa bilang sample. Tapos gagawa na lang namin. Tapos yun, mabubuo na lang bilang isang kanta pagkatapos. Oh, sa concert ng Mocha Girls, ano yung uh, kakantayin niyo? Oh, kakantayin namin. Oh, Ilang songs? Terminal. Yun po yung... Terminal? Oh, isang kanta o dalawang kanta? Ilang makanta po? Uh, three to four songs. Oh, wow. That, that's exciting. At uh, lahat-lahat ng miyembro ng inyong grupo ay tubong Pilipinas, di ba? Yeah. Apo. So, Tagalog lang ang inyong mga rap? Yeah, Tagalog lang. So. Oh, that's nice. You know, feel at home ka pag narinig ang inyong kanta. Oh. And, and how about you, Don? Uh, what has been the highlight of your career? Oh my gosh. Um, one, definitely being part of Canadian Idol mm -hmm. was definitely a huge experience for me, especially mm -hmm. being Filipino and in a major market. Um, that was really something. And of course, I was able to win also the... Um, be a finalist in national songwriting contest too was actually something that was really fun for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, are you planning to write another album? I'm hoping to release uh, maybe not an album right now, mm -hmm. uh, maybe just singles at a time and just uh, just get my music out there. I find that's what's most important right now. I think people worry too much about selling or it is not enough just being out there and promoting yourself uh, and, and your brand. And, and you said that uh, you, we can find your song on iTunes right now. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at iTunes, uh, Don Smooth, that's D-O-N-S-M-O-O-V-E. And I'm on YouTube, Instagram, yes. Facebook, Do you I'm have everywhere. your own website? Yeah, donsmooth.com. Everything is linked on it. And how yeah. about yung Uptown? Mero ba kayong mga promotional Uno materials? Videos, Are you on watch. social media? Uh, ito, ito po yung una namin uh, pinaka malaking, malaking uh, gagawing kumbaga, event. Oh, you guys are lucky. 
Opo. So, hopefully, mag-continue po ito para... Yes, yes for sure. Uh, actually, meron po kami ngayong plano uh, this summer na like yung mga... <laughs> eh, yung mga kasi may mga upcoming events pa kami na ah, okay. nagagawin project. Plano pa namin kumuha ng ibang artist sa Philippines. So, oh. Well, mostly oh. rappers na. So. Oh. But I'm hearing, hearing na may mga Battle of the Bands na nangyari. Do you uh, perform or sumasali kayo sa mga ganyan? Uh, dito sa Montreal? Yeah. Well, hindi. Bale, ano lang, sa mga local events lang, kunwari sa mga... Mga guesting na sa mga ano, yeah. okay. iba't-ibang klase nyo. And are you guys planning to, to tour around Canada as well? Not just here in Montreal? Wala pa. Dito? Wala pa. Wala pa. Pero mm. napapag-usapan namin ng mga, tropa, mga kaibigan namin sa Toronto, mga rapper din. So napapag-usapan namin na mag-garoon ng show doon. Teka lang, ilan ba kayo sa inyong grupo? Yung Tunog Uptown mismo, yung mm-hmm. member, lima kami. Pero marami rin kaming mga member na iba't, iba't ibang grupo pero under sila sa kasama pa rin namin sa Tunog Uptown. Meron na kayong recording? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and how can we access itong recording na ito? Uh, sa ngayon po, sa YouTube lang muna. So, oh, you have uh, videos. So, paano okay. namin ma- makikita ito sa Facebook? Uh, just type like uh, YouTube, then search uh, Tunog Uptown. Like, yeah. at you Oh, yeah. sige. So, can you guys promote or invite actually invite viewers? our viewers for the upcoming first. concert? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, it should be a great show. April 25th, Club Labu, Mocha Girls, Tunog Uptown, Marielle, Dance Move. We're going to do a live for you guys. Ayan po. Magbabalik ang MMTV. At meron tayong bagong apps na makakatulong to learn and practice a language. Kasama natin dyan ang ating kababayan na si Derwin. Today, we expect training to be adapted to our skills and know-how so we can perform better and faster. We have developed a revolutionary application.